I'm Gabby and this is the first in the series of Transition Town Mount Hawthorne's video series on home composting. Today I'm going to be talking to local expert Kim and um, Kim thanks for joining us today and have a chat about composting. Yeah thank you Gabby for uh, getting, getting me along and yeah. giving me a chance to talk to you. Great. So firstly what is composting? Yes, uh, Gabby, uh, composting is a controlled way of breaking down your household uh, organic uh, waste uh, uh, in uh, a compost environment which can be in various forms and uh, you can use different tools for that. Uh, composting um, uh, has got the uh, benefit of increasing, increasing your microbial life in your soil. Uh, the finished product uh, will help your plants grow better and uh, you will end up with a uh, greener, more shady place in your direct surroundings because you do it localised. So why is composting important? Composting is really an essential part of life. Uh, everything decomposes uh, once it dies. Uh, if we wouldn't have uh, composting, uh, we'd be running out of the really nutrients for plants and animals to live and grow, grow. Uh, composting a uh, controlled way of breaking down the organics at home and um, there are various methods uh, that will help you to do that like professionally or proficiently and um, with getting the right results um, without having to put up with uh, negative side effects like odours etc. But won't the organics just break down in a rubbish tip? Yes, they do break down in a rubbish tip environment, but unfortunately they, in that type of uh, condition, will release a lot of methane, uh, which in some rubbish tips it's uh, being trapped and converted into electricity. Um, the energy in though, uh, though involved to get the organics to the rubbish trip are, are quite huge and very uneconomically. If you can compost at home and convert them to something useful, um, in your home environment or work environment. In your opinion, does everyone in the suburb need to compost, especially since a lot of us lead quite busy lives? I believe yes, absolutely, and it's a very exciting way to contribute in a meaningful way um, to the environment. Councils can only provide a small amount of uh, help, which is not necessarily a solution, it's really um, a uh, temporary sort of diversion of a problem. Uh, it is a lot easier than one thinks. Once you've got the right tools, you, you treat it like brushing your teeth every morning. And uh, it's a, um, yeah, and it's quite a fun way of um, engaging in a sustainable way of living. So how much time does it take to do composting? Uh, composting actually, uh, once you've got your right system and strategy in place, uh, takes up a minimal amount of your time, a lot less than um, uh, one would think, and uh, it doesn't necessarily imply every time you have to be a gardener, um, it's just a natural flow of directing your organics into the right bin at home and transferring it into the correct environment. So I would say in a, a time factor, if you can allow um, every second, third day a 20 minute um, uh, time slot, uh, that's all you would need to, uh, um, to sufficiently compost it on. That's, mm. right. that's good. pretty good, 20, 30 minutes. Finally, what value does a household bring that compost to their local community? The value of composting is uh, infinitely uh, great. Um, when we compost, we actually are looking after our soils. Um, in our council here, City of Vincent, we actually have a uh, commitment to green our inner suburbs to the Vision 2020 by 20% 20 more plants in our um, local uh, suburbs. Um, and doing that, uh, 
uh, won't happen on fresh air, so we have to put nutrients into the soil. And it's less the nutrients of having a uh, healthy and vibrant uh, ground uh, to grow plants. And, and by composting, we contribute in, in the best way to uh, doing that and achieving that goal for our suburb. Uh, plus, we're saving a lot of money uh, to our council. If we, uh, the more people engage and do it, uh, the more savings there will be, hopefully, to us as ratepayers as well when we get our rate bill at the end of the year. Kim, thanks for telling us all about composting and why it's so important. That's it for today's series, and in the next episode we'll look at different types of composting. If you've got any questions, please email us at ttmt.com. Thank you.